fighting games are uh, loaded with content. A I don't know about that. Surprising amount. I don't know about that. Lord of a lot of characters, yes. Content, I'm not sure. <laughs> I suppose that's a difference of, of yeah, opinion there. Because, like, if you're a person who only plays single player, then there's nothing to do in KOF 2002. Yeah. But, yeah, from a character perspective, it's insane. It's one of the most insane fighting games that's ever been released. Yeah. Which, uh, yeah, by the way, hey, I'm coming at you from a toaster mic. Enjoy. And also, I have an omelet. I'm trying not to eat it too loudly. So, KOF 2002 was the end of the uh, Nests period of games, correct? I believe so. It, it, was, the, it was the end of SNK normally, and then, then came SNK Playmore. Wasn't mm. it? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I thought it was around the time of uh, KOF uh, 11, or then KOF 2003, where they decided they were going, we weren't going to be able to do uh, yearly titles anymore, right? I don't remember. All I, all I know is that, uh, if I remember cor correctly, Nameless is the way he is, because, you know, lack of money. Huh. Because we spent all, all, of, all of that money making a fucking Kaede, not Kaede, uh, oh, I'm forgetting the guy's name, the guy, guy from Akira. Yeah, the, the other one. <laughs> yes, and name was very little on the cast, and you can see that by looking at his animations. Yeah. Yeah, Nameless is the, if there's one thing you want to talk about with that entire era that is a unique thing of it. It's the whole K2000 slash Nameless uh, debacle. Which, uh, I mean, it should go without saying that uh, if you want to come up with the most generic name for a badass, loner, edgy character that no one knows, the most generic name you can come up with possible is Nameless. I mean, it's not a generic name, though. They, they, named, they named this character after Shangfa's sword. Shut up. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm wrong That's too. Not even... uh, yeah, I'm, I'm wrong too because it, the Changwa sword is called No Name, not Nameless. <laughs> <clears throat> so Shangwa also has no sense of creativity. Nope. Or maybe she's taking the advice of the Hound from Game of Thrones. As the Hound once said, only cunts name their swords. I suppose. Uh, and then, of course, yeah. there's yeah, one of my favorite uh, lines in that whole series is uh, Arya responds with it to him with, lots of people name their swords. And the hound says, lots of cunts. Uh, hey. Um, checks out, I guess. So, all right. So with KF2002, there is a beautiful thing to the roster being that big. There's some ugly sides to it, too, because I think the KOF 2002 roster isn't nearly as distinctive as KOF 98, you know? Yeah. When you have a roster that's just kind of like everyone and their mother, it starts to lose a bit of meaning, which is rough. It feels rough to say, because we all want to have a as big a roster as possible so everyone can get their favorite character. And that is the nice thing about 2002, is that you've not just got the classic KOF characters. You've not, you've not just got the Nest stuff. But they also threw in characters from pre-Nest stuff like Geese and Rugal, you know? Yeah. But still no Saishu. He's forever, forever dead. Mm -hmm. He has been punished next to K9999. Oh, K9000. Alright, fuck. I, I can't remember that character's name ever. I just make it K-whatever. Yeah, Saishu. Poor Saishu. Yeah. I... I feel like Saizu is in the same place as Chizuru, where they're both super important to the lore, especially to Kyo. But at the same time, like, they just insist against bringing them back. But Isn't Chizuru Chizuru did back? come back. For this. Yeah, I was yeah to, Chizuru's I was coming back. At, she's coming back in 15, which uh, can certainly raise hopes for Saizu. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. Now, oh, I guess I should also say about having that big of a roster. Another odd thing about having that big of a roster is you don't really have a distinctive like, oh, this character is for this. Like, generally speaking, the smallest, the smaller the roster gets, the more a you'll have where characters are definitive archetypes. Yeah, but I, I kind right? of prefer it this way. I, I prefer, I prefer, yeah, the, yeah. I prefer the overlap. I'm not than, saying, yeah. I'm not saying that's a good enough reason to have it just be a small roster. I'm just like talking about the intricacies of roster size, right? Yeah. Like, we can compare Guilty Gear Strive right now, specifically, like, Potemkin is really the only grappler character. Yeah. And to a lesser degree, Soul, I guess. But this will change as the game goes on, because there have been other grappler characters besides Potemkin, you know? Yeah. And, like, uh, it's really obvious with Street Fighter, because, like, Street Fighter 2, Zangief is the only grappler. Then Super Street Fighter 2 or whatever. Oh, Honda now has a grab. And then T-Hawk. And then Hugo. And R Sodom. And Relent not, not Relento, but fuck it. You get what I mean. Yeah. Which is not necessarily a problem. I personally prefer having a lot of diversity with uh, archetype, uh, character archetypes like that. Because, like, I love Zangief. But honestly speaking, I love Hugo more, you know? Yeah. And there's also like, a, like interesting overlaps from different art archetypes mixing that you can get out of it. Like with, with uh, Sam Show 5, my favorite ca character in Sam Show 5 or Sam Show overall really is Kazuki Kazama. He is weird because he has, he has a resource management system that, that, that upgrades some of his moves. But he's, he's mostly a Shodo and then he also has a, also has a freaking grab. Uh, is this the, like, Dark Almaru we're talking about? No, that's Asasumaru. Kazuki Kazama is, no. uh... I can never keep my Sam Show characters... I can never keep Sam Show characters straight at all. <laughs> I played all of Pi Special, <laughs> so I, I know most of them. <laughs> most. Yeah, I think the answer is I just need to play more Sam Show. Yeah. Kazuki is, uh... The guy who looks the most like Akuma that's not Enja. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> like, he's, he's just a ninja dude who can do fire magic. Pretty much. Oh, yeah, I remember this character, I think. He's not one of the twins, right? The, the god twins, right? Not the god, god twins. He is one of, one of the people who get their powers from the god twins. Ah, okay. Which, oh yeah, I guess with KOF 2002, that is one thing I want to say is, KOF 2002 seemed to be when uh, character movesets were starting to reach critical mass. It got, I think it got about its biggest with KOF 11, but yeah, there was definitely a uh, mass expansion of character move lists. They decided to regress with 13 and 14 because it was, characters started to pick up a little too many moves in some cases, I think. Except for yeah, Yuri. It's... Yuri it was the one that... You... Yeah. Go ahead. Oh no, go ahead. I was, I was just going to say, like, I don't mind characters having having a lot, lot of useless moves because I, I like joke moves. And again, I, I come from Tekken. So obviously I would like freaking joke moves that have, have no fucking purpose because that's half of the movesets in Tekken. <laughs> but like, yeah. like, you know, I, I like... Like... Uh, I, I like to have the option to do to do these moves if I want to. I probably won't because there there will be no no time when I can use them. But I like the I like the option being there. Like I would I would rather this than the opposite. Usually, I, I definitely prefer it over the opposite. Yes. Though I'd say when there's too many moves, it has a tendency to confuse new players and yeah. be kind of a waste of budget you know, for the dev team. You know. I, mean, I don't. I don't know how how much of a waste of budget it could could be with with these old KOF games, just because a lot, a lot of the sprites are reused. Oh yeah, definitely. Like if if they if they were remaking every 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 single move, then yes, it's a waste of budget. But if you can if you can justify just taking the old sprites and reusing them, then fuck it, just put all of the moves in. I mean, you, you don't have to do more work. It's just copy and paste. Hmm. No, well, I can't do all the moves because there are some characters that will be broken with. Geese, oh, yeah. uh, geese, geese always needs to be limited. 
the, 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 well, the KOF, KOF 15's final boss is the, is the goose, is loose goose. The goose is loose, yes. Yes, I would love that. I mean, that would be an interesting way to do Nightmare Geese. Yeah, he just has all of his moves from every game. Yes, including the fucking, like, full-screen command grab bullshit. Yeah. And then... I will his, his, his desperation to per... His freaking flock of flying fodder figures. Oh, no. He just jumps straight up. Yeah. He, he jumps up to a tower that wasn't there before. Throws himself off of the tower and kills you by slamming into you. <clears throat> From the top rope. Uh, that's yeah. not flying, that's falling in style. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Game of 2002, I will say, passes the Terry test for me. Which is, would Terry... Like... Well, I guess it doesn't fully pass the Terry test. Because for me, like, Terry... Terry Bogard is one character that, to me, should have a distinctive moveset that's the same in every game. You should have Power Geyser, Burn Knuckle, Crack Shoot, Power Dunk, Rising Tackle as his special moves. And then you should, for his supers, you should have the uh, Super Power Geyser or whatever, and Buster Wolf. And the only one of those moves that Terry is missing in 2002 is Buster Wolf. And that's because clearly at that point they just weren't going to bother to animate the classic Terry doing the Buster Wolf. <laughs> Yeah. The thing that bugs the shit on me though is that he has the like burn knuckle EX where he does the two the uppercut and then the overhead punch. And it's not really it doesn't really fit in with Terry's moveset at all. Did you uh, get to try that move? I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of a needless move, which uh I mean, there's there's lots of those to go around. Oh, he also has uh, Charge, and this one which surprised me because that's supposed to be a uh, Garu move for him, isn't it? I don't know when, when Charge got got introduced. Huh? I'll have to check the uh, I'll have to check the real bout games. I do have those. Oh, I can't download them though. Fuck. Oh, this is a great position I'm in. Yeah, the, the, this this podcast is great because you you didn't get to play the you played the game game all that much because because of your internet troubles and I the last time I played the game was two weeks ago so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and only that future FGA episodes we do, we're going to have to do with just whatever fighting games I either own physically or already have installed. Yeah. <laughs> So I hope you all are ready for Soul Calibur 3. Oh, no, wait, we can't do that. You don't have that. Fuck. I do have it. I, it, it just may not run. Yeah. I guess there's no better time to check. So with KOF 2002, uh, by the way, I have to ask, did you ever try out the EX versions of the characters? I never figured out how to select them. I, 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 tried, I tried using select like we did in 98, but it, it, it didn't work from what I remember, so no. <laughs> and this game, it's start. Ah. Yep. Just to confuse you. <laughs> but the surprising thing is there's only a few characters that have EX variations. Like, I think it's just team the the Orochi team pretty well, right? Yeah. Them, Takuma, Robert, and Geese. Those, I think, were the only ones. Maybe Leona? They did not... Uh, no! I was surprised by that. No Orochi Iori, no Orochi Leona. I mean, Orochi Leona is in the game, and is playable. But she, you need to com combo into her. Yeah, yeah, she's a super move. Yes, I remember that. Which, uh, what was I going to say? I, I mean, I guess it makes sense that they are not separate playable characters in 2002, because 2002 is an Orochi saga anymore. Yeah. 
but I don't even remember what's different from Takuma. I want to say that the EX version of Takuma. No, I think regular version of Takuma, they went with a more experimental, odd version of Takuma where he doesn't have certain uh, Shoto moves. Like, he doesn't have the Hadouken. It, and that, the that EX seems to Takuma, check out, yeah. Yeah. And the EX Takuma just gives him back his old moves. Uh, so he's classic 98 Takuma. And Geese, I don't... Uh, I think the EX version of Geese is supposed to be Nightmare Geese, but I don't remember what he actually does differently other than giving him the command grab version of the uh, slide. But the real weird one is, and I think I've mentioned this one to you before because it's so weird. The real weird EX variation is EX Robber. Because you know what it does? What? Turns him into Guile. Oh yeah, you did mention this. Yeah, he just becomes Guile with a Kung Lao dive kick. And that's it. Like, they even give him Guile's double hitting sweep. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, when you give him the double sweep, you're just being upfront about it, you know? They were like, well, Remy had it. So, it's fair game. Yeah. I suppose so. Uh, the, uh, I appreciate the existence of EX variations, but it is weird when you have it only for so few characters, right? Yeah. Which, I mean, I don't know what goes into the creation of a character, but I'd wonder how difficult it would be to just do fuck arounds like that with, uh, EX Robert. And well, just, like, make a ton of goofy variations of characters with different inputs and uh, mechanics and such. But with, with that mechanics one, I, would be difficult. But... Yeah, with, with, with that one, I can imagine the budget coming into, a, in, into frame. Like, I, I, I can see, see it being an issue there, because copying, copying the moves from the old gold games isn't, isn't hard, but uh, coming, coming up with, like, new mechanics and new movesets and shit, like, it does take time, so... Yeah. And the other thing that I think may have been a problem for SNK around that time, even though it's a one that would seem rather small, is the EX variations of the character use different portrait art. Ah, yeah. So they might not have been able to afford to pay the artist to make new portrait art. Yeah, that's that, that an issue. Now, with 2002, I have to ask... Uh, when did you first play 2002? I don't remember. <laughs> like, I I probably played it before. I don't know, but but def definitely I I only play play it after you bought it for me. Cause like I oh, played okay. I pl I played a shit ton of KO just an amalgamation of KOF. I don't remember which ones. So <laughs> <laughs> I just I just have a lot of general KOF knowledge. And not much else to show. <laughs> so, uh, I guess I want to mention then that 2002 was my first KOF. So, I guess that could inform some of the things where I... There are some times where I'll play a 98 or 14, and I'll play a character and I'm used to him having a certain movie as in 2002 and he does not have in those games and you may hear me go, oh, that's weird. I thought he had this. Yeah. And I guess, I guess it's kind of weird then in hindsight that I love uh, the sports team so much that I, cause I started off with the game. They were the old game. They were not in a B. Holy fuck. Holy yeah. fuck. Where's the sports team? <laughs> in gotcha hell. Yeah. No kidding. Now, I guess Q of 2002 was in a sense at the end of an era, wasn't it? Yeah. It, it, was, it was the last year SNK was free. Yeah. Yeah, not to imply that the KOFs that have come out since have been uh, bad. I mean, KOF 11 is pretty great, and it, KOF 11 feels just like 98 in 2002. Though, the, uh, there is noticeable differences, of course. In terms of UI and in terms of what they start doing with characters, yeah, I, I haven't. I oh, actually, oh, I, I actually have not played any of the KOFs after Playmore, so I did not play Eleven. 
I did not play Mercy, any of the Maximum Impact games. I mean, yeah. <laughs> no one should. I, I didn't play 13. 14, 14, is, 14 is the only new game that I have played since freaking Free SNK died. And 14 still pretty close to the classic KOFs. Yeah. Yeah, 13 is definitely the oddest of the odd. No Maximum Impact is the oddest of the oddballs. But from the mainline series, 13 is the oddest of the oddballs. The, uh, what was I going to say? I guess I could, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Do you have any particular points to make about 2002? Hmm. The stages, I, I guess I should also say this. Stages in 2002 are not terribly inspired. No, not really. It's just here's all of the characters that we didn't didn't make playable. Yeah, here's a Korean school. Here's a Korean uh, arc. There you go. <laughs> the, the theme park is the theme park is fun. It, here's a here's a Korean school. Here's the, here's Donghwan and Jaehoon. They they are like twenty, even though they're supposed to be babies. Don't. don't. Oh, dude. <laughs> Yeah, don't even get into how, like, don't talk about geese and rocks ages, because that's the real problem right there. Yeah, don't, don't talk about how Charlotte is in the, in the uh, arena stage. What? She's What's that one thing people always point out? That since in the K KOF timeline, Terry still raised rock, but geese never died, that means Terry just kidnapped rock. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure Geese is a, is a shitty parent, so I'm sure it's better off for Rock, but it is funny that Terry, hero of uh, Southtown, is like, well, I don't think Gary Geese is going to do a good job with this kid. I'll take him. You have to keep in mind, Terry may be the hero of Southtown, but he's also an internet troll. That's canon. So. Yeah. That's true. He. <laughs> He kidnapped Rock and ra raised him proper to troll geese. <laughs> He's Ter Terry's been ma making one YouTube video for the past thirty years, and its title oh, is I, "I raise I raise my arch ne nemesis kid, 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 kid as a prank gone wrong." <laughs> if CVS two has anything to go off of, Rock doesn't even know geese is his dad. <laughs> right, so when, when did Terry kidnap Rock? Well, he definitely no, kidnapped wait. Rock at a very young age. Wait, you're right. In KOF 14, KOF 14 Rock doesn't know who Geese is. Yeah. So, and in, KOF 2000, in KOF 2002, I think in Terry's intro pose and win pose, you see, like, little toddler Rock yeah, come in. You do, you do. Yeah. So he, Terry may have stolen baby Rock from the cradle. Uh. KOF is uh, wild. <laughs> KOF, that's KOF, crazy bullshit. KOF, KOF, KOF does stories that other anime wouldn't dare. No. <laughs> Help, my protagonist kidnapped kidnap, kidnap the antagonist's child. <laughs> the other protagonist actually murdered a dude. <laughs> <laughs> Rio, they, they, Rio they, they, doesn't really... Yeah, poor Rio doesn't like really do anything Rio compared to the exist. other two, does he? Rio doesn't yeah. exist. Like the, the Rio's just like, man, I think women wearing men's clothing is hot, and that, that's pretty much all he does. Yeah, Rio, Rio I'm going to grow a beard at some point in the future. Rio's here to remind remind you that remind you that at one point, K K F really, really tried to be Street Fighter, and that that's Rio's purpose yeah. in life. <laughs> Like that, I, I find it really, really funny that the the AG, the AGS freaking protagonist of King of Fighters is the one who does nothing and is and just freaking spends his days feeding cats on the street. Like, <laughs> oh, which one is that? Yori. Yori, yes. Like all, uh, all, Yori. all Yori, all Yori ever does is feed cats, freaking rent rent about Kyo, and put on women's clothing so he can beat up women. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's still the best lore. Oh man, like 
I kind of love when characters like Iori just simmer down and aren't really like walking the line of evil. They're now just douchebags who don't do anything. The, the, the Vegeta transformation, right? Yeah. Man, imagine if KOF 16, Iori has a mustache. <laughs> yeah, Iori, Iori's new jacket says cum dumpster on the back. <laughs> <laughs> Character development. Who, who's the, what's the name of that new kid? The new kid with the uh, hands. Shunai. Shunai is talking with, uh, let's say, uh, Kyo. And Terry overhears them talking, and Shunai reveals to Kyo that he's Iori's bastard child. Terry starts laughing. Iori goes, "What are you laughing about?" And Terry just says, "Your shirt." Uh, <laughs> that may be the best joke future trunks that whole thing with future trunks is probably the best string of jokes uh by the uh dragon ball z abridged ever did yeah that and when uh future trunks meets balma and balma like hits on him and it's just tr trunk starts screaming inside his mind yeah Oh shit! <laughs> I'm imagining, I'm imagining, like you only fighting Kyo all freaking serious, 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 like in a shirt that says "Come Dumpster" on the back, like a button-up <laughs> shirt. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. There are some characters already come pretty close to doing that. Yeah, when what's her face? The the freaking uh oh, I'm, I'm forgetting her name, but the the wife, the wife of Kim's master. Yeah, pretty well. If Anne Hell could get away with wearing a jacket that said "Come Dumpster," she would. Yeah, I mean, if 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 I mean, if Anne Hell could, could fight covered in cum, she would probably. Yeah. <laughs> oh God! I, you, when you think about it, every time you fight Billy Kane in any of the games, you're fighting him while he's wearing a no smoking jacket. Yeah, and he doesn't even mind smoking. He just wears the jacket for some reason. He, like, he likes the design. Yeah. He just wants a sh jacket that says no something. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he really can't actually read. No, no. He can't even read symbols? No. He's so stupid he can't read symbols. But remember, he's posh. Like he's he's like he's supposed to be highly cool cultured and like freaking rich and shit, but he can't read anything. <laughs> on on what earth is Billy Kane posh? I think the I, I think the the freaking the way he speaks is suppo supposed to imply that he's posh. But like his background and his character and his like appearance yeah, it, it, are all a, like yeah, it's supposed super to be a street. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to be a contrast that he that he acts all thuggish while he's rich or something. Why would he work as a thug for geese if he's already rich himself? Why not? I guess I don't know. Geese, geese, geese is geese is anti smoking. That that's all Billy needs in life. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, another friend who is opposed to smoking. Oh, I don't have a problem with smoking. Then why did you say you like that I am against smoking? I just think it's cool. Oh uh, man. Uh you, you know you know in, in, in some universe, Billy Billy King grew his hair out and became ex exo low. <laughs> <laughs> the the character designs are so close. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like I think uh I think Ishwatari is well known for wearing his influences on his sleeve. And I think Axel Lowe is a pretty obvious case of it. Yeah. Like, I, I think there are a couple more obvious cases. There are certainly some characters that in Guilty Gear that's just straight up like, oh yeah, this is just straight up this character from this anime, right? I don't know. But then maybe, maybe, maybe I just skip, skip those anime. I'm trying to think of a specific one. I feel like, oh god damn it. I, I had one. Eh, alright, whatever. Okay, okay, well, fucking, uh... 
how am I forgetting her name? The chick controlling the robot in, Stru in uh, Exard. Uh, hey, Yoon, come. Yeah, come. Yeah, yeah, Kum is just blatantly Goken. So. Yeah, Kum, Kum, Kum is just blatantly Goken. But the, the mech. <laughs> yeah, Eno is just straight up that one Japanese musician. I don't know which one you're talking about, but I'll, I'll believe you. Uh, the one with the mole, you know. No. Oh, okay. Uh, pff, the, the new Potemkin design from Exart is just straight up... Uh, What's-her-face's minion from uh, Skullgirls. Like, the designs are pretty well identical, except the Potemkin's bigger. Huh. Anyways, back to KF2002, because we always get wildly off topic every podcast we do. Yeah. Oh. God damn it. That, that's what, that's so what, he, that, that's what he, he only wearing, wearing a shirt that says Come Dumpster does to you. Do you remember him when yeah. you look at the moon? Uh, I hope one day to look at, up at the moon and see a giant Come Dumpster shirt that says Kill them all, Alex. Kill them all. So, so is it, uh, the, the only is optional. We only need the shirt now. Okay, so I gotta ask. For the transition, for 2002 was pretty well, for all intents and purposes, the end of the Nests era. What? Who would you say is the biggest winner in terms of, like, new characters? Who is the best new character in... Uh, from the Nest Saga in 2002, coming over from 98. Hmm. The best new character. Probably K. K Dash. Yeah, I was about to say K Dash as well. Uh, since you said K Dash, I'll say Maxima. So there we go. We've completed the duo, the best friends duo. Yeah. Kula, Di Kula Diamond sucks. No one likes her. I love Kula Diamond. Shut I don't. up. <laughs> Now, I, I gotta admit, though, I'm not huge on Whip. I don't mind Whip. But I don't miss her when she's not here, so... Yeah. I, I get that there are some people who really like having her around, and it may just be a BDSM thing. I mean, I, I like her personal... Like, I like how... She, like... Yeah, she, 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 does, she does do a BDSM thing, but she's kind of, like, funny about it. From what I remember, like she, she seems seems to have an awkward personality, which which complements the whole BDSM thing, kinda. <laughs> yeah. So like that, that makes her kind kind of fun to to have in the story at least. Yeah. But uh, on the roster, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't mind when she when she's on the roster. I don't mind when she's not on the roster. So it, it doesn't really matter to me. Ah, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh. Who is the worst character they had from 98 nameless. 2000? <laughs> nameless. Yeah, Nameless is a good Nameless is a good choice. Nameless is a good choice. But I'm like, kind of surprised yeah. you didn't go for uh, Bao, though. I don't care for Bao at all. Like there, there's there's characters that make you angry with their inclusion, Athena. There's characters that that, that you straight up hate. Bao does nothing for me. Like Bao, Bao's there, Bao is annoying, but it's it's nothing that I haven't seen before. It, he's just Blanca. Yeah, but a lot of people hate that he's not only Blanca, he's also a small small child. Yeah, I don't hate small ch children characters usually. Sometimes they're annoying. Yes. And Bao's, Bao can does does fit fit the freaking things of annoying, yes, but it's it's like it, it, it doesn't really like if we, on, on a team we see Kansu and freaking Athena, yo yo that that's team annoyance. You, you, <laughs> <laughs> like if if Bao was on any other team, I could understand the hate, but Bao, Bao is Bao is in the team of, team of the annoying people, so obviously he's going to be annoying. I'll say that I, for my part, really like Bao. I understand why he's not come back, but I do really like, like, like his whole thing of being kind of Blanca Jr. and all that. Now, hmm, I guess I should probably also say like my answer for yeah. worst character to have been added. Ooh, hmm.
the thing is, I can think of very few KOF characters I'm not fond of. And I can't really think of any from this time period. I'm sure that I'm there's a character I'm just forgetting because there are some oddball losers in this game, like Dual Lawn, but Oh no, not Dual Lawn. Dual Lawn was in uh eleven. Hey, he's still a loser though. Uh what, the, what the about, assassin what about... guy who Oh no, go ahead. I was going to, going to say what you're probably talking about that guy. The, what, what about the guy who can put, put his hand through the ground? Or, yeah, the hand through the ground. And has poison mist and shit. Uh, I actually don't mind him. I think it's a neat gimmick having your back to the camera like that. Alright, then who, who are you going to say? Uh, I don't think I have anyone to say. You started talking about an assassin think... guy. Yeah, he was the guy with the back to the camera. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess I don't mind anyone in uh, KOF 2002, at least anyone who isn't uh, going back to 98, like Choi. Yeah. I don't know, like, a lot of the new characters to me feel like, like, I don't dislike a lot of the new characters, but that's because I usually don't remember they exist. Yeah, KOF has a problem where they have a constantly cycling side cast that you will never see come back, and so... They can have some cool things about them, but like every time they do a new side cast, there are some clear winners and some clear losers. And it's not like Street Fighter where those losers are guaranteed to come back, you know? Yeah. Street Fighter never forgets a character. KOF forgets loads of characters. Adelheid. Yeah. yeah Adelheid's one that bugs the shit out of me because he's actually really interesting. Because he's like, it, it's. Kind of going with the Rock Howard idea of the uh, son of the bad guy, but unlike Rock, where Rock's just straight up a good guy who is able to entirely ignore his father's influence, Adelheid kind of walks the line, you know? Yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. And I get that it's because, like, they clearly just switched focus to Ash, but, yeah, you know? I say the more rule, the more better. Yeah. Yeah, that that is a big, big, nice thing about uh about Adelaide is that he is Rugal's junior. So you get to play around with a Rugal who's not as powerful, but a lot lighter and a lot faster. Yeah, and I'll I'll take anything. Like I'll, I'll take Adelaide over nothing. <laughs> yeah, I guess that works from a full. Uh, that's a good philosophy to have about it too. Like it, it, it's it's kind kind of the thing you think with Kim as well, because like I like Kim, but a lot of Kim's moves get removed to get to be given to other Taekwondo characters who uh, keep keep getting getting freaking introduced. So like just <laughs> just just put put in the put in his sons already. Just make make a team that actually makes sense. Then like just <laughs> stop stop Like you can introduce more Taekwondo characters, but don't, don't introduce them as Kim's partners. We already have. Two partners that he can have, and they they are somewhere somewhere between the ages of nine and twenty, <laughs> Dep depending on which game you ask. So, I, I just really, I just really, really want freaking the kid, the kid back. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's gonna be fascinating to see the DLCs for fourteen. I think the DLCs for fourteen are gonna get pretty crazy, don't you? Uh, not fourteen, fifteen. Because now, like, they've got actual money, don't they? Uh, I don't know. Like, they, 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 were, they were in talks. But, um, it may have fallen through, I don't know. Oh, well, the, the talk with the Saudi Arabian prince guy, yeah, I hope that falls through, because I don't want to give money to that guy. Yeah, I think that might, might have fallen through, but I, I don't know, because there hasn't been really any news at all, either way. And other, yeah. other than that, like they they may have more money than, than none, but I don't know if they if they have money. <laughs> hmm. I gotta say, it's pretty difficult to try and talk about this game. Yeah, I mean, there's there's not a lot of co content for me to talk about because there's there's no single player content at all. Yeah, that's true. The game doesn't even have arcade endings, correct? Yeah, like not only does it not have arcade endings, endings, which which is a big shot, but also all of, all of the freaking the the 
uh, merchant quotes are generic Ken shit, and none of them have personality yes. at all. Yep. Remember me when you look at the Groom Kyo. <laughs> Uh Okay, so I got to I got to ask then looking forward to the future of KOF. If there was any character in 2002 who was not Rugal challenge mode, if it was not Rugal that you would want to come back for 15, who would it be? Hmm. I was going to say Vanessa, but she's already back, so she doesn't count. Uh-huh. Yeah. Is it just me or does Vanessa I look know. kind of strange? I know. Oh no. I know. Okay. Kim. Kim's not been announced yet. <laughs> That's true. You motherfucker. <laughs> you just need you just need to do the the, the, the freaking okay mix up with your picks. <laughs> God damn it. Well, I guess for I guess for mine, I'd love to see Seth come back. I'm a big fan of Secret Agent Man. Yeah, I wasn't the biggest fan of of like his game plan being basically entirely counters, but like I wouldn't mind if he came back. Oh no 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 no! The trick to Seth, he's not dive all kick. about those counters. He's dive kicks. Yes, the dive kick mix ups. If you are not in the air 70% of the time as Seth, you are doing it wrong. Uh, all right. The, the thing is, with 2002, there's not really much to talk about in terms of, like, unique special mechanics, right? Yeah. So, like, because it's pretty old, just 98, but they removed the extra mode. Or, or Dream cancels something new in 2002. I don't know. Maybe. Well, you can do them. They're neat. You can cancel special moves into super moves. It's cool. Yeah. Admittedly, it's a bit cooler in 14, because 14 gives you a lot more freedom with it, but hey. It's a beginning. All right. So, what game do we want to handle next? I don't know. Because let me look over at what I've got. Uh, if we wanted to do anything on PS4, we'd be doing it the vanilla version because I can't download updates. Yeah. So that's uh, important. Let me look at what I have on PC first, I guess, then already installed. Let me just. There we go. So I have obviously Guilty Gear X2, though we. How long, how recently did we do the last Guilty Gear X2 fighting games are? I don't remember. It wasn't recently, though. Well, I mean, the, the last Life Fight fighting games all wasn't recently, technically speaking, but yeah. <laughs> I have all the Street Fighters, so if we want to do any of those, that's always a solid option. Yeah. <laughs> we do a fighting games all the Street Fighter 1. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you've um, already beaten it, so yeah, just beat on me to beat it. Yeah, I don't, I don't need to play that game anymore. <laughs> yeah. Marvel 3... Uh, is Fantasy Strike always online? Yes. Okay, well then I can't do it. I did install it ahead of time because I figured we'd do it at some point, but I didn't think of that. Yeah, Fantasy, PS4, Fantasy, Fantasy, Strike, Fantasy Strike is always online, and then the free version is, is, is legitimately just the online mode, if I remember correctly, or something like that. Yes, and PS5, I do still have Uni installed. As well as, oh, I guess Uni's the only really uh, important one. So I do have Uni installed on Street Fighter uh, on PS5. Let's see. On Xbox 360, I can still do. We already did Persona 4 Arena. Hey, you don't happen to have a copy of Dirty Dirty All Stars, do you? Oh, that doesn't. I own nothing else. Yeah, I don't even have a 360 anymore. I, I just kept my copy of All-Star, All-Stars just in case I want to look at it. <laughs> like, you, you know, if, if I spin the disc fast enough, I can play the game like this too. 
Okay, would you be able to do the 3D Mortal Kombat's? Oh, we, we tried last time and it didn't work. <laughs> ah, you can. Okay, so the PS2 just spits it back out. No, I refuse. Disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> Get this spilled out of me. Hmm. Our options then are pretty well limited to Street Fighter Uni, <laughs> Uni, Guilty Gear X2, and the Street Fighters. Yeah. Well, which we still haven't done Street Fighter Three. That we haven't. Unless we want to go back and do Uni, because I don't think I gave Uni a fair shot the first time. I mean, the thing with U Uni though is that like it, that that's a game like that 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 is another game like KOF 2002 where there's not much to do single player. Like it's literally just the arcade mode, which eh, and time or score attack, which eh. <laughs> so like that, that's that's another game that's another game where to properly experience it we would need to play against each other and that's impossible for multiple reasons since when have we let that stop us true <laughs> <laughs> all right so i would say uni do you like have a definitive enough opinion to say uh prefer another nah i'm fine with uni all right all right, uni it is. All right. I suppose fighting games were then. Fighting games were. Oh yes, I forgot we do that. I am just all kinds of off off kilter, man. 